Hello, friends. I have a little bit of advice for you today. Don't let words control you. You choose how much power you give to words. If someone insults you, if someone berates you, if someone attacks you with words, if someone says something that bothers you, step back for a second. Ask yourself, why? Why am I upset by this? Why am I acting this way when these words are said? Are you doing it because you've been conditioned that these words are bad? Curse words, insults against identities like racial slurs, certain phrases, even mentions of certain names like Donald Trump. People will perform outrage for people around them to show that they don't approve. But you don't have to do this. It's your choice. You can choose not to allow these words to change your behavior. So, the next time that a word or a phrase upsets you or makes you behave a certain way, step back. Look at it. Why? Why am I doing this? If you do this enough times, you'll learn a lot about yourself. You'll learn a lot about the conditioning that brought you to this state where other people can control you with words. And you'll be able to dismantle that control and take back control of your life. As an example, in the YouTube comments, I routinely get called fat, bald, and some variation of old. Oh, look at Grandpa here. Look at Chunky. You know, take your pick. It doesn't matter. There's tons of these. You could probably go through a few of my videos about political issues and find several things insulting me for looking a certain way. Yeah, it's an easy target. Yeah, some people it would bother. I just don't care. You know, I'm fat, bald, and old. At least I'm old to some people. Why does it matter? It doesn't refute my arguments. Not in the least. Calling me names? Why, I don't care about their opinion. They're not my friends. They're just some people on the internet. And even if they were my friends, if they held opinions that those things about me are negatives, well, I'd want them to talk to me about it. But they can come at me respectfully, or they can get lost. And that's the end of that. I don't have to respect this control that somehow has been placed over me by these insults. So I don't. Call me names all you want. I don't care. Because you don't matter to me. At least as far as your thoughts about me. I don't care. Why should I care? Why should you care what I think about you? <laughs> if I think anything about you. Why? Why do you change your behavior? Just based on the fact that someone says something negative about you. Step back and take control of your life. Because once you do this, you won't have other people changing your behavior and potentially manipulating you into doing what they want you to do. If you do this, your quality of life will improve significantly, people will respect you more, and the people around you will be better off for your change. You could even, perhaps, inspire some change in others. Take this positively. Use it to build yourself up, focus on yourself, and then if you can, help someone else. And maybe turn your phone off before you make a video. That advice was more for me than for you, but, well, you had to hear it. And I'm not editing it out, because guess what? I don't care. Also, funny little side note about that particular tone. That's an email, and it's an old camera shutter sound. And someone once said to me, hey, do you ever have people in public turn around and look at you uh, because of the camera shutter sound? They think that you're taking pictures of them. And I'm like, yeah, the film cameras have been out of style for two decades. I'm not really worried about it. So, I don't know. It, it was weird. Uh, it doesn't even sound real because it's muffled. So, I don't know. Does it? Does anybody know what a film camera sounds like anymore? I mean, seriously, there's so few of them. If you heard film winding, what would you think it was? But I digress. The point of all of this is that you shouldn't give words power over you. 
Just because words are naughty or bad or somehow disparage other people doesn't mean you have to react to them, doesn't mean you have to change your life for them. And that's what you should take away from this. I'm Jody Bruchon, and I thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and go to my website and give me a little bit of monetary support if this helped you. Um, or don't, you know. If you don't have money, that's fine. If you don't want to give me your money, that's fine. Because you shouldn't care what I think about you or your money. But please, please give me money. I need all the money. Give me all the money. I'll take all your money. Anyway, enough e-begging. Have a good one. Oh, how do you like my new Panasonic GH5S? Let me know in the comments.